hello everyone so in this we will see the introduction of cache memory so cache memory that works on the principle of locality of reference means few localized areas of memory are repeatedly referred so in your program sometimes you have used loop some procedure so your program is accessing some specific memory location only now if cpu access main memory then the time to access the main memory is more compared to your cache memory so same portion of memory if you copy those memory part in your cache so the access time of such memory that will be reduced and the cache memory access time is 5 to 10 percent uh, 5 to 10 times more than your main memory right so you can fast uh, get the data and your cpu can work it more efficiently because now cpu is getting data as per its speed so if the active program right and data are placed in fast small memory that is your cache memory the average memory access time can be reduced and thus reducing the total execution time of the program so such fast small memory is referred to a cache memory right and this cache memory has less access time than your main memory so what happens when cpu access your memory so first cpu will access your cache memory if data found in your cache memory then it will take data from that cache memory if data not found in cache memory it will search for main memory right and if data is not in main memory then it will go for your hard disk right so some portion will be in main memory from main memory some copy is in cache memory and then cpu will access it right so access time of cache memory is 5 to 10 times higher than your main memory right now how to measure the performance of cache memory so to measure the performance cache memory you must be aware about heat ratio so what is heat ratio let's first understand what is heat heat means when you going to access some memory right at that time the data found in your cache that is called a heat right if you are going to search for that memory and data not found in cache memory then that is called a miss right so you know what is hit now what is the heat ratio the heat ratio is out of total reference by your cpu how many times it is hit means 100 times cpu want to access some memory location or want to access data from some memory location and that is found in your cache and that is found in your cache right so suppose 100 times cpu access the memory or want to reference some memory out of those 100 times 100 times 90 times the data found in your cache the data found in your cache so 0 0.9 that is your heat issue in 90 percent of time you get data from your cache you need not to go for main memory so for remaining 0 0.1 that is called a miss ratio so 1 minus heat ratio heat ratio that is your miss ratio right and 90 percent 90 times is heat so remaining 100 minus 90 10 times that is called a miss so out of 100 reference 10 time 10 times data not found in your cache and for that it access main memory okay so you can see that 
this 0.9 that is practically observed means it proves the concept of locality of reference means some specific memory location is accessed more time okay <clears throat> now before going for some equation right what is the average memory access time right by cpu so for that we need to understand first some terminology tc that is cache memory access time okay suppose it's a 100 nanosecond then your main memory access time tm assume it is 1000 nanosecond and this is 100 nanosecond and this is faster average memory access time that we want to find out right and hit ratio right so we want to find out this average ratio so this is the equation for this so let's define this equation okay so whenever there is a hit the data found in cache so data will be accessed from cache memory so tc this is the time to get the data from cache memory and how many time you will use this time cache memory access time that depends on heat ratio that depends on heat ratio right so in our case heat ratio is 0 0.9 but right because 90 percent of time we get data from cache and to access that the time is tc that is 100 nanosecond plus for remaining case for remaining case remaining means 1 minus heat ratio that is your miss ratio so this is your miss ratio so 0 0.1 times what happened the data will not form from cache the data you will get from your main memory right so first data will be searched in your cache memory and you found that data is not there then you will search for main memory so it will take tc plus tm because first it access the cache and not found that's why it go for main memory right so in the case of miss time will be tc plus tm and how many times such case 0 0.1 so multiply by tc plus tm that is 1100 nanosecond so if you solve this you will get the average memory access time by your CPU. So this way you can measure the performance of your cache. Right. Now <clears throat> there are different addressing mapping techniques. Right. So let's just look which are the different types of addressing techniques. Right. So this addressing map being technique decide which block of main memory has to be placed where in the cache memory because we are placing some portion of main memory into cache memory actually we are copying it so where to put it that is decided based on address mapping technique there are three types of address mapping process first is direct mapping second is associative mapping and third is set associative mapping so we will see in the next video the detailing about these three different types of mapping process thank you